In this video, I'm going to show you a couple of amazing trippy effects that you can use in your own project as well in Adobe Premiere Pro. You don't need any plugins to use these and they are pretty simple to do. So we are basically going to try to recreate almost like a psychedelic trip, simulate that on our footage. So if you are interested in learning how to do that, then go ahead and follow along on this video. My name is Vince and let's get right into it. So the first effect that we are going to use on our footage is called Echo. I don't know if you guys ever uh you know had a psychedelic trip I'm not saying i have basically one of the most like common psychedelic kind of like effects is seeing a tray behind your uh, hands or any object it's kind of like if you had the shutter speed turned down in your brain or at least that's what i heard from other people so here's one way to recreate that and uh, this can be very cool for stuff like music videos you know any kind of like edits where you're trying to go for this kind of mood and basically you just you just want to drag and drop this on your footage you can see uh, it made it a bit overexposed but don't worry about that we are going to fix that so you want to come here to your effect controls and here uh, you can set the echo time the number of echoes so I would put it up usually to around 2 and the starting intensity we are going to put down all the way to 0.2 or so um, maybe 0.3 could work and um, yeah basically now if I watch this back you can see I created this uh, kind of like interesting to say the least effect you can play around with the numbers of course and uh, and create different you know uh, effects based on how you manipulate that so if we make this a higher number for example then the psychedelic kind of effect is going to be even more strong but uh, yeah I think this looks pretty interesting right now I'm going to go um, to a different clip and I'm also going to add this effect to this one as well so you can see now we created this uh pretty interesting effect uh with this echo the next effect we are going to apply is the lens distortion effect so to apply that we just want to come here to our effects and then search up lens distortion this is the one and right now we are going to drag and drop this uh, lens distortion effect on our clip we can do something pretty cool we can change the curvature of it and with that if we go into the minus we can create this effect where it kind of like bends the edges of our clip, creating this lens distortion. And uh, I think that looks pretty, you know, trippy and, and it creates this interesting effect. Perfect for stuff like music videos or if you're making an edit for like a nightclub or something like that could be another cool effect to try. The next effect we are going to apply is called turbulent displays. So we are going to look that up as well. Uh, and here we are and uh, this one creates this very unusual uh, effect as you can see where it kind of makes the image almost looks like it's like water or something you can try a bunch of different displacements here so they don't only have this turbulent one but they have like a twist uh, and other ones as well uh, with this one I personally just uh, you know like to play around with the settings a little bit so I don't want this to be like super intensive but one thing you can do is you can actually animate this so you want to click here on the amount and maybe the size as well add a stopwatch in the beginning and at the end of the clip and you can you know play around with this a little bit change these settings a little bit and now if we watch this back you can see it kind of like you know goes and plays with the whole footage transforms and morphs all over the place so i think that is another pretty cool visual effect you can use now let's move on to the next one next up what we are going to do is we are going to add some patterns over our footage now this one is really hard to like you know recreate and make it look like it was an actual like psychedelic trip or whatever because obviously like it's like impossible to recreate pretty much i found this uh pattern for example which is called like a uh, looping hypnotic pattern effect and you know if you just look up like psychedelic effect or looping hypnotic patterns whatever it is you can find a bunch of uh, similar ones to this i'm going to put it on top of my footage i will need to scale it up a little bit so it fills up the whole footage right and now i'm going to change the blend mode of it um, to screen and you can try actually a bunch of different blend modes to see if one works better than the other but in this case, I'm just going to uh, go with screen and I'm going to change the opacity to something way, you know, lighter. And actually what I want, want to have is I want it to like come on to the footage like gradually and then fade away as well. So I'm going to actually put it to opacity zero in the beginning. Click here on the toggle animation like stopwatch button. And then I'm going to go uh, forward a little bit. And then here I will change the opacity to maybe like three. I will 
uh, go move forward a little bit, I will add another keyframe here. So I want it to be constant at 3% between these two keyframes. And I'm going to go ahead a little bit again and make it zero as, as well. So now if I watch this back, you can see we have this pattern kind of like overlay on top and then it randomly just like disappears as well. And if we wanted to, like we could duplicate it and bring it back again. And to duplicate a clip very easily, you can just press option on your keyboard and then pull it up while holding and then you can duplicate it super easily. Quick tip for you. Anyways, in my opinion, this looks like very, very trippy on like psychedelics. You have the, the patterns over everything and stuff like that. Like you can recreate something pretty similar to that, you know, with this overlay effect. All right, next up, what we are going to do is we are going to animate the colors of the video a little bit, right? So there are a bunch of different routes you could take with this, but what I want to do uh, now is I'm just going to come here to my Lumetri color and I'm going to change the tint. So for example, I want Want it to be like this green in the beginning i'm going to come here all the way to the lumetri color one and for example i wanted to start here from green so i'm going to toggle animation on on tin i want it to be let's say by like pretty pinkish by this point so i'm going to add another keyframe there and i will change it to kind of like the other end of the spectrum so now if i watch this back you can see it starts out like very green and then slowly it turns into uh, pink so the colors are like shifting on the whole video i think this is like a very smooth way to change the colors you could also go and play around with the hue saturation sliders and for example change the color of the sky from blue to green and that definitely would create like a very trippy effect as well so just to recap everything at first i talked about the echo effect which creates those uh, kind of like trays over objects as movement happens the next up we covered the lens distortion effect where you can create this uh you know distortion around the edges of the screen then we talked about the turbulent placement effect which can create you this uh kind of like breathing effect Effect, or just make it look like everything is projected on a lake or something. Then I showed you how to use overlays um, to create these visuals on top of uh, everything on your screen. And we also talked about how to animate the hue of your screen um, to change colors over time and make them shift. If you enjoy this video and you want to see even more tutorials from me about Premiere Pro, how to create content, and also how to land clients for content creation, I actually have a masterclass linked in the description below which is the magnetic editing masterclass which is my masterclass obviously and uh, in that we actually do bi-weekly group calls as well where you can ask me questions from me directly you know submit your own footage for review and a bunch of fun stuff like that so if you're interested in that go ahead and check it out other than that i appreciate you watching this video and i will see you in the next one